Lesson 4, Types of Ecosystems. Now that you know what make up the ecosystem, we shall consider the types in today's lesson. Thank you for engaging with the Ecology Perfect Master. It means a lot to me. An ecosystem is a common term widely used in biology and environmental studies. In general, it is known as a system or community that consists of all living organisms and their related non-living components in nature. All such components are directly or indirectly associated with each other to create ecological balance. Therefore, it is necessary to know the different types of ecosystem and what they specifically contain. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to mention and explain the main types of ecosystems. List the four and the two subtypes of terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem respectively and discuss how biotic and abiotic factors interact in an ecosystem and also should be able to list the five types of biotic relationship that takes place in an ecosystem. Our keyword includes aquatic and terrestrial habitats. Now the types of ecosystems. An ecosystem can be as small as an oasis in a desert or as big as an ocean spanning thousands of miles. There are two types of ecosystem, like I've said. The first one is terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. Let's start from terrestrial ecosystem. These are exclusively land-based ecosystem. There are different types of terrestrial ecosystem distributed around various geographical zones. They are as follows. The first one we have a forest ecosystem which consists of several plants, particularly trees, animals, and microorganisms that live in coordination with abiotic factors of that environment. Forests help in maintaining the temperature of the earth and are the major carbon sink. We also have a grassland ecosystem. In a grassland ecosystem, the vegetation is donated by grasses and herbs. Temperate grassland and tropical or savanna grassland are examples of grassland ecosystem. Tundra ecosystem. Tundra ecosystems are the fault of trees and are found in cold climates or where rainfall is scarce. These are covered with snow. For most of the year, tundra type of ecosystems are found on the mountain tops. The desert ecosystem now. Desert ecosystems are found throughout the world. These are regions with little rainfall and scarce vegetation. The days are hot and the nights are cold. Aquatic ecosystems are ecosystems present in a body of water. This can be further divided into two types, namely the forest water. This is an aquatic ecosystem that includes lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, and wetlands. These have no salt content in contrast with the marine ecosystem. We also have marine ecosystem, which includes seas and oceans. These have a major substantial salt content and greater biodiversity in comparison to the freshwater ecosystem. How are the abiotic and biotic factors related? Biotic and abiotic factors are components of an ecosystem, but biotic factors are living things. Why abiotic factors are non-living things? These factors interact and influence the adaptation of species. 
How do biotics and abiotic factors interact? Biotic factors, which is living organisms, interact in ways that affect each other's survival and reproduction. Interaction between biotic factors can be divided into five main types of ecological relationships. We have competition, predation, commensalism, mutualism, and parasitism. On the other hand, abiotic factors, which is non-living environmental conditions, can limit or enhance the ability of living organisms to survive and reproduce. What biotic and abiotic factors influence adaptations of species? Biotic factors, which is living organisms, interact with each other in a way that affects each other's survival and reproduction. For instance, plants adapt to be able to compete with other plants over resources like sunlight and water. An abiotic factor, which is not living environment condition, can limit or enhance the ability of organisms to survive and reproduce. For example, abiotic factors like wind and water can aid the disperser of pollen and seeds. Epi plants reproduce over time Organisms inherit adaptations that suit their environmental conditions. Now, you can see how the terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem operates. You have also learned that the terrestrial ecosystem has four types, while aquatic has two types. Biotic factors affect each other. Survivors, just as abiotic factors can hamper or enhance the survival of biotic components of any given ecosystem. When an abiotic or biotic condition in an ecosystem limits the growth or size of a population, it is referred to as a limiting factor. Ecologists study relationships between biotic and abiotic factors uh, to predict the population changes and ecological effects. You may have to go over this lesson again to make sure taking the key points therein. Please ensure to do so. Meanwhile, attempt the questions below. Mention the significant abiotic factors. List the different types of terrestrial and aquatic ecosystem. Thanks for listening.